The Samsung Galaxy A22 is one of the few phones under $250 that comes with OIS in its camera. There is a 5G version of this phone, but it's not available in my region. So this teardown video should cover for the 5G version as well. The back plastic of this device has a glossy finish, and this makes it retain lots of fingerprints. Bending this device is pretty tough. As far as bending goes, this device is pretty solid. And judging by the fact that the 5G version uses the same build material, that model would be just as strong. This is the first time I'm seeing a 48 megapixel sensor that is equipped with the OIS feature. And I'm really curious as to how it will look like from the inside. But aside from the OIS feature, there are other cool stuffs inside this device. So in this teardown video of the Galaxy A22, I'll be telling you guys how much it will cost you to buy and replace the components of the device. The back plastic is light, it retains fingerprints and also takes scratches. So if you own the Galaxy A22 4G or 5G, you will need a protective case to keep the back cover in good shape for a long time. Now to replace the back cover will cost you about $8 to $10. There is about 16 screws holding the frame of the device. Once those are out, I can work on removing the frame and getting beneath to see some cool stuff. You have to be careful when opening this device. The fingerprint cable and the main board cable are on either side of the device. This side mounted fingerprint has the shortest ribbon cable I have seen yet. Well, the point is not how long it is, it is how well it gets the job done. And from my experience with the device, this fingerprint scanner is effective. The side mounted fingerprint would cost you about $10 to buy if you want to replace. And this brings us to the speaker of the device. Samsung equipped this device with just one fairly good speaker. It's not that loud and if you really need to enjoy that good sound quality you really want, you might want to use the 3.5mm jackpot. To buy a new speaker for this device will cost you between anywhere between $15 to $20. The 3.5mm jack port and the USB Type-C port is at the bottom board. There is no water resistant feature and there is even no water damage indicator. You know, when a little baby puts your device in her mouth and it gets covered with her saliva, well, don't try that with this device. You will end up in the repair center after that shared display and spending up to $20 to fix the damages. The main motherboard flares will cost you about $3 and it's one of the easiest parts to replace in this device. It's also actually the cheapest. The MediaTek Helio G80 chipset and the camera is at the main board and I'm all hyped up to see what Samsung has done here. First thing I noticed is that there is no thermal paste for the processor and there is no copper tips. This is the first sign of a device that is not designed for intensive use. Maybe the 5G model will have thermal paste due to it using higher processor with 5G feature inside. But I will still have to check and confirm the OIS feature of the 48 megapixel in this device. The 48 megapixel main sensor has the optical image stabilization. This feature helps in various ways. You can take less blurry photos and record more steady videos with this feature. The OIS feature also helps when taking photos in low light condition. That is a better night photo. Other cameras at the rear is the 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Then there is a 13 megapixel selfie camera up front. The main camera of the Galaxy A22 will cost you about $25 to buy and replace and the other cameras will cost you anywhere between $10 to $15. I'm still surprised that the processors of the Galaxy A22 does not have really good cooling system. This graphite tape alone would be enough to cool the processors under heavy usage. And I really hope the 5G version of this device won't be as dried as this 4G version I'm holding right now. The battery in this device is 5000mAh battery with 15W charge technology. The battery is strongly glued 
to the phone, almost as if Samsung is hiding something beneath the battery. Oh, well, maybe they are hiding something. To be fair, the 5000 mAh battery is great. It can take you full day, even with night years refresh rate, turned on. But I won't advise you to use this device extensively. There is no proper cooling for the battery. It is resting on the metallic frame of the device, which means when the battery gets warm, there is nothing to cool it down except you stop using the device. Maybe, just maybe, this is why Samsung glued it so hard so that I won't be going beneath the battery. But guess what? I did anyway. Buying a new battery for this device will cost you about $10 to $15. The Samsung Galaxy A22 is obviously not built for heavy users. If you are an online gamer or do some heavy graphics work, even if you use the phone a lot, you won't enjoy using this device that much. But the 5G model has different processor and might just be the better buy for you. The 5G model has better chipset, is equipped with 5G and since I can't lay my hand on that model, it's best we assume that the coolest system in the 5G model of the Galaxy A22 is better than what we are seeing in the 4G model. For those getting the Galaxy A22 4G, this device is good for average user. Three things you will enjoy in this device is 1. The camera of this device, even though it can't record 4K videos, but the quality you get is nice, thanks to the OIS. 2. The battery is 5000 mAh battery and is big and can last you for a long time. And 3. The 90 years refresh rate. This gives you an incredible smooth scrolling of the display. The chipset is good, but the lack of proper cooling makes me doubt if it will perform well consistently. Alright guys, I will still advise you get the 5G version of the Galaxy A22 because it costs a little more, about $260 which is pretty nice and it has better chipset and hopefully to have better cooling system. So this is the teardown video of the Samsung Galaxy A22 4G and by extension that of the 5G. If you can buy the 5G model instead, it will give you more value for money. I will leave links in the description below for you to check them out. It's me, the inside man from Techran and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.